Since I stopped boiling my lentils or kamande, life has been very easy and my gas has been lasting me a few more days and the recipes always turn amazing. So today we're going to be making a thick and delicious, creamy, all those goodness happening to our lentils today and with me here are my ingredients. So from this corner, of course, I have my lentils and these are raw lentils, they haven't been boiled. As you can hear, they are very dry. I have my water and I'll come back to this in a few. I have my tomato paste as well as some tomatoes, my dania or the coriander. I have an onion, some capsicum, carrots. This is optional and this is some coconut cream and that's going to give it some creaminess towards the end. I also have my spices and I'm going to introduce these as we go along. And without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, as I've also mentioned, uh, these are very raw. They've just been selected. I'm going to add them into my uh, tin or container. Then you're going to need some water. The temperature of the water should be between warm and hot, somewhere there in between. But you can also use boiling water. Also warm water does the job. And I'm going to mix this. Then I'm going to set this aside for about 20 to 30 minutes. And they are also going to double in size. As you can notice, uh, they've already started uh, doubling in size. And uh, it's because I up, but now you can see that uh, they are doing quite something. So I'm going to cover this and I'll see in about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is about 25 minutes later. You can see they have doubled in size. So I'm going to strain off this water. I'll add them in my colander, then I'm going to rinse it once with cold water, then we can proceed to the cooking. So once my pan is nice, hot and dry, I'll go in with about two tablespoons of cooking oil. Then once that is also hot, I'll go in with my onions. Then I'm going to saute this till they start turning translucent. Then I'll be back to adding the next ingredient. So this is how I like it. I'll go in with my other ingredients. I have some turmeric for the color. Just a small amount. Then I also have my ginger and garlic paste that we made in a previous episode, you can check that out. It's really a time-saving recipe or a hack. And you can already see the magic happening. I'm starting by uh, making my to-go base. Then, it's at this point, I'll go in with my tomatoes and tomato paste. Then I'm also going to add my capsicum and my coriander stem. Then I'm going to use enough my tomato. So adding water is going to ensure that the tomatoes cook faster and the tomato paste as well is loosened and going to cook faster. So I'll cover this for about a minute and I'll be back once my tomatoes are well done. So about a minute later, you can see we have a very good looking base and the tomatoes are well done. So it's at this point. I'll go in with my other spices. I have some curry powder. Then I also have some vinegar powder as well. <laughs> then. 
then I'm going to blend this in and you can already see we have a very big base then at this point I'll add some more water just to loosen it up this looks okay so I'll go in with my other batch of ingredients and that's um, lentils or kamande then I had some more capsicum that's what I'm going to add and finally my carrots Then I also add some salt. I'm going to add that in. Then we are going to mix this. And this looks beautiful. We can call that green. Then at this point, I'm going to add in my water. And this is always my favorite part, the bofu. You can add as much as you want. So I'm going to add some more. That should be okay. Then I'll cover this and let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes and our lentils should be ready. So this is exactly 15 minutes later. It's not yet 15 minutes and that's how good you know, my recipe is. And this is ready. You can see we started with a glass of lentils and now we have a whole pot of lentils. And this is such an easy recipe so uh we had some coconut milk but this is not really necessary but if at all you have it please, please feel free to add it and that's what i'm going to add then and you can already see this looks amazing I'll add some more. And this looks amazing. You can see it's also very big and looks appetizing. So uh, we are basically done with our recipe. I'm going to switch that off. Then I'll garnish with my coriander leaves. And I'll see you in about two to three minutes for serving and tasting. This is the recipe that you should immediately add to your menu and you see it was that simple and the results are amazing. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.